Hello everyone. So let's start a new lesson that is lesson number 12 reproduction in plants. So in this lesson we are going to learn one important life process that is reproduction but in plants okay reproduction in animals you will see in your higher classes okay so let's start our first session see the keywords i have given asexual reproduction budding embryo fertilization fragmentation gametes hypha ovule pollen grain pollen tube pollination seed dispersal sexual reproduction spore sporangium vegetative propagation and zygote so already keywords are given in your textbook so no need to take the screenshot and write okay so directly write from the textbook as well as write the aim of your first session okay the first aim is that to learn about vegetative propagation okay so in first session we are going to learn one type of asexual reproduction that is vegetative propagation okay first we will see the introductory part that is what is a reproduction or what is the need of reproduction okay so all living things produce more of their own kind means the process through which a living thing produces new living things like itself it's called reproduction are you getting when the parents are giving birth to the child or to the offspring so that process is known as reproduction reproduction is allows living organism to continue to live on the earth from one generation to the other like we are having a family our grandfather then your father then we are okay so these are the generations and that generations is because of this one important life process that is reproduction okay so reproduction is important okay so in in case of plant so that reproduction occurs in two ways okay asexual and sexual reproduction okay which will uh, learn in this lesson okay we will learn c understood what is a reproduction the process in which parents produces offspring so that process is known as reproduction so there are two modes of reproduction okay reproduction takes place in plants through these two ways first one is asexual and second one is sexual reproduction so what is asexual reproduction when there is a new plant arises from the vegetative part vegetative part means which part like your leaf stem and root so when the new plant grow with this part or grow from this part of the parent plant so that reproduction is known as a asexual reproduction in which no spore or no seed formation so what is that that we will see afterwards but understood what is a asexual reproduction there is a reproduction of plant there is a growth of new plant but that is from the vegetative parts in case of sexual what is happening there is also a new plant arises but the part is reproductive part and fruits and seeds are form in the sexual reproduction okay so you can see here what is a sexual and what is a sexual reproduction take a screenshot to write down the note see reproduction in plants can be categorized into two types okay two types are there first is a sexual reproduction second is sexual reproduction so when the new plants are produced without using the seeds what we have learned in previous classes that we are putting the seeds and from the seeds new plants are growing correct only that much we have learned now we are going to learn the advanced processes means without seeds also there is a growth of new plant 
how by the asexual reproduction so in this process generally the leaves stems and roots participated okay not a reproductive organ see all are having the reproductive organ like that means like animals the plants are also having the reproductive organ and in plants the reproductive organ is flower when the flower produces a new plant then that reproduction is known as a sexual reproduction means with the help of seeds there is a growth of new plant so you can see here the note the new plants are produced with the help of seeds of the plant means in this process the flowers of the plants participated in reproduction understood what is the main difference one reproduction is without using the seed and one reproduction is with the help of seed if the without seeds means your asexual reproduction okay without seeds so which part we are using vegetative parts we are using like your leaves stems and roots and in case of sexual we are using the flowers we are means the plants are using the flowers understood so see here what are the vegetative parts and sorry which are the vegetative parts and which are the reproductive parts so vegetative parts means what these are the parts of the plant that plays a major role in the life cycle of plant as we are doing life processes there are life processes in plants also means that uh, there is a digestion in plant correct am i saying correct as we are doing digestion plants are doing digestion there is also transportation that we have learned that okay there is also transportation there is also digestion there is also excretion when for these life processes we are using the body parts of that plant like roots stems and leaves when these parts are involved in the reproduction so that parts are known as vegetative parts understood see if you are thinking that the, that is a difficult lesson no it is a simplest lesson of your textbook okay if you are interested in biology please read watch the session properly carefully so you will understand all the concepts carefully i means clearly okay then reproductive parts so these are the parts of plant that play a major role in the reproduction process okay means they are performing only one function that is flowers and fruits okay flowers and fruits are not uh, involved in the preparation of food or not involved in the transportation of food yes they are the parts of plant but they are involved in reproduction and that's why these body parts are known as a reproductive parts understood understood this have you taken the screenshot if not then please take the screenshot and write these notes in your notebook properly if you if you want to write your notes in your own words you can take the screenshot of this slide okay from that also you can write your own points take the screenshot of this slide also okay before we will start our first asexual reproduction okay means see in asexual reproduction again there are sub points are there so before we will start that you should learn three main definition related to the plant so first one is the shoot then node and vegetative buds so what is the shoot simpler word a young plant is called as a shoot maybe you have observed that or maybe you have learned that in seed germination okay shoot and plumule shoot plumule radical have you remember that yes so that shoot means actually a young plant and generally a shoot is regarded as a part of the plant which has stems leaves and flowers so you can see here what is the shoot system means in the shoot leaves 
flowers and stems are involved so that is known as a shoot then next is node so it is a part of the stem or a branch of a plant from where the leaf arises so maybe you have seen that the small body part of plant from where the leaf arises okay from where the leaf arises okay maybe you have seen that so that is a node okay a part of a stem or a part of a branch from where the leaf arises understood you can see here 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 okay then next is vegetative birds so sometimes birds are present in the leaves that are capable of developing into shoots so these are known as a vegetative birds okay the apical bird then axillary bird okay these all are the related to the vegetative birds so these three definitions are also important as we require this definition while learning about vegetative propagation okay am i going fast okay so from here the main points are there okay actually the main points started from this slide now we have learned that in the plant there are two types of reproduction that is sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction okay then two parts are there that are your vegetative parts and reproductive parts first we will start with our asexual reproduction okay see reproduction then two types asexual and sexual again in asexual there are sub points that is vegetative propagation budding fragmentation and spore formation okay understood so what is a vegetative propagation when there is a reproduction with the help of vegetative parts which are the vegetative parts your leaf stem and roots simple when there is a reproduction takes place with the help of leaf stem and roots okay means your vegetative parts so that reproduction is known as a vegetative propagation in which only one parent is important one parent is involved in this reproduction see as we have learning about asexual so keep in mind that asexual means what only one parent is involved in that production understood when there is a sexual production a sexual reproduction there are two uh, parents are involved okay but in case of a sexual only one parent is involved and if that parent produce the offspring through vegetative parts so that is your vegetative propagation understood am i clear okay so let's start our vegetative propagation by roots by leaves and by stems okay so first we will start our vegetative propagation by roots okay the simple point is there when there is a growth of new plant from the roots so that is your vegetative propagation by roots so what is actually happening the tuberous roots of sweet potato and dahlia when detached from the parent plant can grow into a new plant means what we are actually doing here see the plants that have tuberous roots have you seen the sweet potato okay the structure of sweet potato means what actually that is a tuberous root in which there is a food storage and what we are doing when that roots we are actually sown in the soil okay the birds are present on the fruits that grow above the ground and then the new plant is formed see from the diagram maybe you will understood properly this is your old stem then these are the roots okay the bud on the root tuber 
so you can see here the tuber tuberous roots means like that roots are there okay the swollen root act as a storage structure okay as we are storing our food in our body in our blood like that plants are preparing the food in leaf in leaves correct plants are preparing the food in leaves but all the plants are storing the food in different different body parts for example if the plant store the food in flower for example cauliflower okay next you can see that uh, what you can see see the root plant storing the food in root that is your sweet potato if the plant storing the food in leaves like your spinach so like that there are uh, means the plants are storing the food so when the propagation or when the reproduction of the plant through roots so that is your vegetative propagation through roots for example your sweet potato and dahlia okay only that much learn okay understood there is a growth of new plant from the roots that is your vegetative propagation by roots for example your sweet potato and dahlia maybe you have seen the small small birds are present on that fruits so that are actually growing above the ground and then the new plant is form understood propagation by roots then the vegetative propagation by stem same like the tuberous roots some plants are having tuberous stems tuberous means what the swollen okay not like a normal roots or normal stems the swollen roots or swollen stems are there so these are known as tuberous roots or tuberous stems so what is actually happening in the stem see the potato is a modified stem and has buds maybe you have seen that on the potato small small eyes are there okay small small buds are there so that eyes means actually the buds are there so that buds are actually known as a tuber what we have to do when if you want to grow a new plant from the potato we have to cut that part of potato with that eye or with that bud then sown that potato that part that piece of potato in the soil you will get a new plant okay when a piece of potato which containing a bud is planted into the soil so it can grow into a new potato plant understood vegetative propagation by stem easy concepts are there if you watch that lesson carefully or watch that session carefully you will understand properly so please focus okay only the words are changing propagation is same vegetative propagation is same only the vegetative parts are changing first we have learned about the roots okay what is actually happening and their example you have to learn same with the stem okay what we are doing and the example so the example is potato okay you can see here this stem tuber store the nutrients and bear nodes these nodes bear buds that form the new plant that example potato understood next are okay see in stem two again the points are there that is stem tubers and the runners so runners are also the modified stems okay don't confused runners are also the modified stems so what is actually happening in the runners many plants have long thin stems called runners maybe you have seen in uh, ganpati season we are actually that durva okay have you seen the durva that are actually the runners which are having the long thin stem which grow horizontally parallel to the ground okay a runner roots and sprouts new leaves whenever it touches the soil and then give rise to the new plant understood so like that there is a growth of new plant simple see the some plants grow along the ground and contain the modified stems are known as 
runners so these runners are having birds you can see here this kind of birds so that birds produces the roots and stems roots and these stems and then there is a growth of new plant the example is strawberries and that durvas okay most types of grasses are having or uh, that propagate in this manner okay in natural conditions okay we don't need to give the water and all and the last vegetative propagation that is by leaves means from the leaves also there is a growth of new plant okay that example is bryophyllum so you can see here the leaves of bryophyllum plants produces buds on their margins so these buds grow into the plantlets you can see here the bryophyllum are having the buds on the area on the top of that leaves so that buds can develop into a new plant the example is bryophyllum okay you can see here the buds grow into the plantlets and these plantlets get detached from the leaf and grow into the new plants understood so here we have completed our vegetative propagation okay the artificial means of vegetative propagation and all that we will see in our next session okay uh, because maybe you will confused between the vegetative propagation and artificial vegetative propagation okay so here we have completed our first session please write down all the notes watch the session again and again to understand to clear all the concept okay still stay home stay safe and thank you